currently I own 10 domains with approximately 16 websites. But also I need to offer a maintenance package for my customers. And updating all this regularly can be a pain in the rear end. Therefore today I'm gonna show you a simple solution which allows me to back up and update all my sites automatically with a couple of clicks. The service I'm gonna talk about today is called WP Remote which allows you to manage hundreds of WordPress websites in a simple way. It also allows you to secure a site, create backups and add layers of high performance security to guarantee you'll always be prepared for anything. If you need safely test changes on your site then there is also a one click staging site creation option for you. What else? You can monitor your sites 24 seven, create automated reports and create timely backups. What is awesome with the backups is that where others struggle to back up even one gigabyte of size, then WP Remote has no problems even with 100 gigabytes of backups without breaking a sweat. Probably wonder how much does it cost? It depends on your needs, but the basic license is $29 per month for five sites. There is also a $49 package and $99 package. These are the monthly prices, but there are also yearly prices. Those are on the screen right now. Now, if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a link which redirects you to the site that offers you 20% discount for all the plans. That is for monthly plans and for the yearly plans. So just follow the link and you're good to go. It's the same company that is behind BlogWall. So and I have made three separate videos about the blog vault services. That is how to back up your site, how to secure your site and clean your site from the malware if needed. And third one was about how to easily triple your website speed with an airlift. So if you're interested, I'm going to put the links to these videos also in the video description. There is also a free package for the WP remote. Just sign up, log in. And after that, you'll see a dashboard. Currently, I have a demo account here. It's a clean one. So let's start from scratch and let's start by adding a site. One more thing, I'm not gonna give you a full overview about the dashboard here because I already covered this topic in the previous videos. Okay, so let's add a site, is it by clicking on this button here or by going to the sites and click add site. Now add a URL of your site, click continue. And now there are two ways for you to connect your site with a WP remote. First, you'll add your admin username and password or download a plugin, install it and test the plugin. This way you can connect your site with WP remote. I'm going to add my username and password. Next click submit. The plugin installation is in progress now, so it will install the plugin. And when the plugin installation is successful, there is a button to initiate the synchronization between your site and WP remote. So let's click on it. Based on your site size, it may take a bit of time. Usually it takes from five to 10 minutes. When the synchronization has been completed, you'll see this notification up here and you'll receive a, an email about the first backup, which has been successfully completed. There is also a notification on top here. You'll see first scan completed. It says your site is clean. No malware has been discovered. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. And now I'll see that there are 15 plugins that have some updates, two teams. For this site, WordPress is up to date. And altogether, there are 17 updates. Now, if we take a look at the updates and you scroll down, then you'll see that there are warning signs. Those sites have vulnerable plugins activated. And if you click on the sign, it opens it up you'll see the vulnerability description and what is the severity. Currently it says medium for this one here and also medium for this one here. In order to update something, I can either select all or select them one by one. I'm going to choose all, click on the update button. I don't have to worry about it because everything is backed up. Now I'm going to click on next. I can choose whether it's a sandbox update, safe update or quick update. I'm going to choose save update. Let's click on update button. Now it's going to fetch the latest information. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the progress here. And as before, depending on the number of updates needed, it may take a bit time. So I'm going to come back when it's done. So it took approximately four minutes. And here are the results. As you see, those are the successful updates. It says that Elementor and WooCommerce databases need to be updated and there are some issues also with the screenshots. What does it mean? 
after the updates, the WP Remote tests whether something has changed if we talk about the layouts or the visuals. And it says that it found out that something worth of 3.7% has is different than it was before. Also, they will send you an email about the updates. It says that some updates failed and visual changes detected. This here is a nice tool for you. And in order to see what are the differences over on this image, after image, open it up and you'll see this is the before, this is after. So the differences are 3.7% and as you see what changed is this area here. I even didn't notice it, but WP Remote lets me know what's changed. So I need to take a closer look at the login button up here. Awesome tool. Okay, back to the sites. This is my site here. I can see whether the security has been enabled. If I open it up, it says site is clean, firewall enabled, and monitoring is also active. If I scroll down, I see all the information down below here. It says backups are enabled. Already two backups are created. If I need to restore my site, just click on this button here, choose the backup version, confirm it, and you can restore your site. You can choose what you need to be restored, database tables, files, file permissions, and so on. This icon here says whether the site is up or not. The information comes from the uptime monitor. If you need to create a staging site, then click on this button here. In my previous video, I covered the staging site part, so I'm going to skip this one here. The number three says that there is a one plugin update available and two team updates available. So if I click here, I can open up the site details and I see that there is a Jetpack plugin that was not updated before. And there are two teams that I did not update before. In a similar way as I did before, I can update the Jetpack. Let's update. Next. Quick update. Update. And done. Back to the updates, and in a similar way, I can update Teams, WordPress, and everything else. Now, what else I can do here? I can manage my plugins. If I open it up, if I need to delete this Jetpack plugin, for example, I'm going to select it, delete it, next, quick delete, delete, and once again, done. Let's go back to the site dashboard, open up the plugins. As you see, if you select something, you can either update it, activate it, deactivate it, delete it, lock it, or unlock it. You can also add new plugins. Just click on add new. The WordPress repository opens up. If you need to install a plugin, for example, Tableberg, let's search for it, install it, confirm it, and that with updates, it will install the plugin and it will compare the before and after versions. If you need to upload your own plugin, then click on this button and you can upload and install it here. What else you can do here? In a similar way, you can manage your Teams and WordPress version. You can manage users, add them. You can add clients to the sites. For example, let's imagine that this site is not my own, but it belongs to one of my customers. Then I can add a client with the relevant information here. Under the auto update, I can schedule the updates. For example, I need this site to be updated weekly. Let's start it from this Wednesday at 3 a.m. Whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly, I'm going to leave it as weekly. And I can choose what I would like to be updated. Plugins, Teams, and WordPress. I'm going to select that take backup before the update. It's wise to do so. And I'm going to activate the visual regression test. As you saw earlier, the visual regression test is really useful because it allows us to catch any changes on my website. When this is done, I'm going to give it the name, click on create and done. Nothing complicated here. I can configure notifications, what type of notification I would like to receive. I can add notes for this site. As I showed before, I can restore my site. I can also migrate my site. But for this, I need FTP credentials for the receiving end. Security information, staging site information, and activity log on the right. If you scroll down, you'll see the performance score. Currently, it says 98, which is really good. If I need to create the reports, then I can do it here. Report, 
select the template, color, language, date format, whether to add the introduction, change the information here, overview, all sorts of stuff about the backup, security, and firewall. And if I create report, it will generate me one. I can download it. And this is my preview here. Really nice report. Not only I can download it, I can also forward it if needed. If you need to automate it, then you can schedule the report. Just click on the schedule, select the interval, set the recipients, email subject, email body, and done. And it's a one more awesome tool on the WP Remote dashboard. Under the advanced monitoring, you'll see the uptime, visual regression information, SSL information, and you can activate the PHP information. If you connect your site with Google Analytics, then you'll see the analytics information also here. I haven't used this form testing option. It's a new one, but setting this up seems to be as easy as everything else here. If I need to access my admin panel, I can click on this button and I will be redirected to the site. This icon allows me to start a fresh synchronization. I can see the site history or open up the site panel. And yeah, can't get any easier than that. If you have more than one website, then all the information from the websites are displayed here. If you open it up, you'll see what sites need to be updated. And under the sites, you'll see all the sites. Easy peasy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they also have a security module which can clean your hack sites. I have made a separate video about it. The video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.